It is almost here. The time I have been waiting for since Daredevil Season 2 pretty much came out. Luke Cage is finally about to hit my instant stream with Netflix on the 30th, which is this Friday. So uh, you'll know where I'll be parked on Friday. But that's not really what I wanted to talk about. I just thought that, hey, there's a lot of great superhero TV shows out there right now. And if you're about to wade into the uh, pool of superhero TV, where should you start? So I looked at all of the ones that I could think of off the top of my head that were on TV right now, and I ranked them. It happened to be I found I thought of nine of them, and so I ranked them one to nine. So let's start with number nine. And that's Supergirl. I didn't really enjoy it that much. I did watch a couple episodes this year. It just didn't really feel that great. I just, yeah, it was kind of, it was kind of cheesy, and I, I just didn't enjoy it so much. From, so from that's why it came. It, I don't into, think anyone's super impressed with Supergirl. Yeah, that's why it moved networks after its first year. Yeah, I heard it, Usually it not kind of time. only stayed on the network it was and wasn't canceled the first year just because they didn't. They wanted to sell the rights <laughs> over. Yeah, well, okay, that too. Yeah, and so moving on to number eight. And that is Legends of Tomorrow. That is the group superhero TV show with a bunch of unknown superheroes fighting a pretty unknown villain. Um, actually, Vandal Savage is a really cool villain. I don't know why he's not known more. But it just, they, there's growing pains with the first season, I'm sure. And, you know, the second season will probably smooth a lot of that out. So I'm not hating on it, but just wasn't quite my cup of tea. Then moving on to number seven, we have Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., now, that show's had its ups and downs. They are bringing in Ghost Rider. Probably going to be pretty cool. Don't really know. <laughs> but it, it, more promise, more upside. That's why it actually was numbered in eight, I want to say. I think this the bringing in Ghost Rider, even though I haven't seen it, bumped it up to a, an extra spot. So that's where that is. Then we have number six is The Flash. Uh, it's cool. It's interesting. It was really... After Arrow came out, it was the first spinoff. Uh, and it's not a bad show. I'm not saying it's bad at all. I actually like some of the characters. I just find it a little more cartoony, especially the first season, than some of the other ones. And, you know, I, you know, I, I like cartoony stuff, but I like them to be in cartoon form for that. So, you know, cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have number five is Powers. That was the more adult one. That was actually, if you have a PlayStation Plus subscription, you can watch the first two seasons. And that was actually pretty good. It was pretty gripping. Pretty, uh, I love the actor who plays the main character in that. Can't remember his name. It's something crazy, but he's a guy from South Africa. He's awesome. He was in District 13. He was in Elysium. I really love this guy. Whatever movie he's in, 18, whatever movie he's in, is, I like it. And I just thought it was a cool story. It's about a superhero who lost his superpowers. And he's working for the police trying to stop other superpowered people from doing bad things. So it, it's just a really cool, unique idea that I really, really enjoyed. Yeah, I like the setup with that and the, the chemistry they had there. And <coughs> they did some weird stuff with how powers work or how they think some powers might work, which mm -hmm. was, it, it, it was strange. But, hey, you know, they, they're doing new stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Do and do stuff, and that's a, that's a good thing. Never a bad thing. Uh, then moving on to number, what was I on? Number four, and that'll be the Jessica Jones Netflix original. I, I thought it was really, really good psychological TV show. Yeah, it had superpowered people, but that wasn't necessarily the focus. Yeah, they did have their moments where they used their superpowers, but it was a little more of an intellectual one than I, I thought I was actually getting into when I first read all the synopsis and everything of Jessica Jones. So I really enjoyed that one. So that was number four. Then at number three, we have Gotham. I love that show. Season two just came up on Netflix and I've been powering through it. So it is awesome. And it's only getting better. I, I can't wait for them to, you know, and it, it probably won't be for a long time and it shouldn't be for a long time, to be honest with you. But eventually they're going to have to show Batman. That'll be the end of the show. Hopefully the last season is when Batman finally hits the scene and he starts to clean things up. I thought, I thought but, he was supposed to be, this is, well, he's a kid or something. Yeah, that's why I said you won't see Batman for a couple years. I, I mean, mean, at least if probably he's like six a kid, seasons. Isn't he supposed to, he's in his, at least his 20s before he... Yeah, but it's, it's called um, TV. You can totally say, oh, this is what happened. This is two years after the last season. We just took, like if they go five seasons, if he's 12 when it happens, go five seasons, he's 17. And then, oh, four years later after this season and then boom, you can have you can you can jump. It's cinema. 
You can jump wherever you want. I want Batman. That's all I'm saying. You got to have Batman towards the end of the show. They can't end the show without showing Batman. As long as the Holmes. show goes on for 20 years, you'll have Batman. <laughs> well, then he'd be like 32. <laughs> he I'm started saying, early. You'll, you'll have a few seasons with Batman. That's yeah, well, yeah, one season. That's really all I want is one season because Jim Gordon carries the show in my mind, and all them setting up how the villains come to power is amazing. So I'm really enjoying that. Then at number two, we have the one that in my mind started it all, and that is Arrow. That is what came out. That's about Green Arrow, came out on WB, and really kickstarted this superhero TV show trend. It really made it a feasible thing. They made a good show, and then they're like, oh, we can do something else. Oh, Flash. Oh, Legends Tomorrow. Oh, this. And then Netflix is like, wait, they're doing a TV show over there with superheroes. Hey, Marvel, what's going on, buddies? You know, and it really, in my mind, kickstarted the whole genre actually getting good. Or, um, yeah, well, kick- kickstarted the the new wave as as it were, yeah, the ones that were more there, similar yeah. to what they were doing mm-hmm. with the new wave of the uh, the movies. So, so that, that's that's really mean, what kickstarted ones before that. With like yeah. Smallville was good; it just was in a different style. To, for a while, it was good, and then it became bad. And, well, yeah, I, I, I mean, didn't watch it towards the end, but I mean, these haven't gone on as long as that one did yet, right? It's true, so, that's true. Uh, but yeah, and then at number one. Brendan, can you guess what my number one superhero show on today is? I can absolutely guess what your number one superhero show is. If you don't get it right, I'll be upset. Daredevil? You are correct, sir. Daredevil is number one. That is by far the best superhero show that I've seen ever. And Brian doesn't Ever. actually. Well, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm just let's let's take the cartoon superhero shows out of it because I'd still put X Men from the '90s and Spider Man from the '90s above any of these, but that's because of nostalgia. Um, they were good yeah, shows. Daredevil was just. I, I think you go back and watch those pretty well. But yeah, um, that's true. But Brian doesn't know this, but all our viewers will know this. Um, you put that as the put, picture in the corner. Yeah, I put the Daredevil picture in the corner. <laughs> Well, that's good because it was number one. Had I left him off the list, you would be embarrassed. <laughs> but he was number one. Yeah, so. I, I figured he was going to be on the list somewhere. All right. But it's just it's such a crazy dynamic show. Uh, I mean, the the character it brings Matt Murdock to life, and it makes you really forget about how horrible the job Ben Affleck did playing him, and how cool that movie probably could have been had they just tried. It feels like, and so I, Daredevil had a bad rap for a long, long time. This movie, this this TV series, finally brought back his his pristine name, and I'm glad for it. So hit us up, let us know what would you rank as your favorite superhero show on TV today. Comments down below, of course. Adwords from my face on Twitter, Google Plus, Facebook. Oh, there's good ways of getting a hold of us.